The largest EV charging station in the world is powered by the sun. In fact, if it wants to, it could be completely independent from the grid. Is this the future of EV charging stations? I suspect it is. This new EV charging station has 168 charges, 168. It has 11 megawatts of solar and 39 megawatt hours of batteries. So it can store all that solar. Honestly, this thing is really the future of the automotive industry. It's the future of the planet. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. On Tuesday, uh, Tesla officially opened all 168 stalls at the world's largest EV charging location. Now, if this isn't proof that you don't need fossil fuels of any kind for the grid, or even, to be honest, the grid at all, uh, I don't know what is. Because if you can power 168 charging stations with solar and batteries alone, then um, yeah, it pretty much proves the point. Tesla announced that all superchargers are now open for business at the largest char charging station in the world. The 164 store location in Lost Hills, California is powered by 11 megawatts of solar panels, which you can see look like a, a little mini solar farm. They double as a canopy that shade the parking spots as well. Those panels feed 10 of Tesla's utility scale mega pack batteries. These are lithium ion phosphate battery cells in those big batteries. And that provides a total of 39 megawatt hours of energy storage, which is enough electricity to power 1,700 homes, 1,700 homes. The solar farm and the chargers span a pretty large area of space they cover 30 acres of land. And the site generates around 20 gigawatt hours of electricity annually. That's enough to power roughly 1.3 to 1.5 million electric cars annually. Now, how do I come to those numbers? Well, okay. Assuming an average annual consumption of around 14,000 kilometers per car, and to be honest, most people don't even drive that far, but let's say 14,000 kilometers, and an efficiency of 17 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, this calculation involves converting the annual energy usage of a typical EV to kilowatt hours and then dividing the total available energy by this figure. So in other words, yeah, this place can charge about 1.5 million cars annually. Now the average annual consumption for an EV is approximately 2,400 kilowatt hours. So with 20 gigawatt hours of energy, you can power approximately 8,403 EVs constantly. This charging station also has some pretty cool features, right? It includes pull-through stalls for those people who tow, uh, might be for also large RVs and that kind of thing, or it could just be for people who have uh, trailers on the back. Tesla now has more than 70,000 active superchargers across the world. And the company has also made efforts to create a unique experience at some of the stops, most notably with its Tesla Diner located on Santa Monica Boulevard in Los Angeles. That supercharger has two massive drive-in movie theaters and will soon transition to a full-service restaurant following the departure of its, uh, its main executive chef. So, is this the future? I mean, I, when I see these kinds of projects, it reminds me of these movies, you know, dystopian movies where in the future, I don't know when it is, but say 50 years into the future, the, the world is had some kind of apocalypse and people are driving around looking for the last tiny bits of fuel to try and fill up their cars and then they dump their cars because there's no more fuel left. Well, it's pretty unlikely that's going to happen considering the fact that we'll all be driving EVs powered by wind, solar and batteries. Thanks for watching. Very interesting information here. Tesla have said that for self-driving version 14, they are bringing over some robo-taxi features to full self-driving for your EV. So what are these robo-taxi features and what will be the benefit to them? That's a question that I'm going to try and figure out and answer in this video. But also Tesla say that cars with hardware three, so the old generation of Tesla's hardware, 
they are going to get updated with a what they're calling a full self-driving version 14 light kind of like a, a not quite as good as version 14 full self-driving Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. A Tesla engineer has shared details on full self-driving version 14's robo-taxi-style camera cleaning. This is one of the big criticisms of cameras. It's particularly cameras alone. They get dirty, bugs get on them. And I can tell you now, when this happens in all models of EV, they suck in terms of when bugs splutter all over the cameras. Yeah, they don't really work very well anymore. At what they're intended for and i've had this happen to be in a tesla's i've had it happen to be in x bangs various different models really struggle with um getting dirt on the cameras tesla's version 14 of full self-driving 14.1.3 launched this week and it's got some robo taxi features in the package this time tesla has included the updated camera focused windshield cleaning so a little bit different here to the camera issue i was talking about Cam obviously tesla's cameras have the ability to wash themselves now on the front of the car. But initially de developed for the RoboTaxi fleet, Tesla's windshield cleaning helps to ensure the windshield area in front of the cameras is clean. And this actually matters as well. The release notes for version 14.1.3 state automatic narrow field washing designed for rapid and efficient front camera self-cleaning and optimized aerodynamics wash at higher speeds. Unlike traditional wiper cycles that try to clear the entire windshield, this system targets the camera area with fluid and multiple wiper swipes to help clear debris like bugs, dirt, or road salt. By targeting the camera area specifically, Tesla can wipe the crucial area many times if needed, while also clearing the rest of the windshield with a regular number of wipes. The front-facing cameras only see out of a small area of the windshield that's roughly about three inches by five inches. So any debris or smears in this area can really affect Tesla full self-driving's performance. Makes it quite a big difference. We as humans can look around a small smear on the windshield caused by a bug that kind of an issue, that kind of problem can severely affect full self-driving more so than us. Now, of course, having you know 11 cameras on a car is much better than a human being having only two hours at the front even though we can swivel our head around, but still, dirty cameras can be a, a big issue. Tesla's AI engineer, Yun Ta Sai, chimed in on X and shared some engineering background on this feature. He said that to clean the camera area properly, Tesla needed to keep a large amount of water in the area while performing multiple cleaning swipes. Tesla conducted wind tunnel tests to study fluid dynamics at various vehicle and wind speeds, this is interesting, before arriving 